Happy Friday the 13th, and no, we're not talking about Jason Voorhees, but of course, we're going to be talking about Maniac from 1934. This is an early exploitation, interesting horror film as it deals with the types of insanity and psyches that patients go through. It's also somewhat informative and kind of an educational type of horror. But of course, there's also a mad scientist who is trying to reanimate the dead. Because, I mean, of course, why wouldn't there be a mad scientist? And he looks the part. The poster says sex, drugs, and psychos. It's crazy. This movie is a bad taste horror film from the 1930s. There's also an interesting part where the mad scientist injects this guy with this serum and he slowly turns into this Mr. Hyde kind of character. And also, to make it more Halloween-y, there's a black cat. Because, of course, black cats are evil. But like I said, this mad scientist is really cool looking. He's got the twisted mustache, the curly hair. He just looks insane. Every single time when he appears on screen, you're like, okay, this guy, he's the real maniac. But yes, overall, this film is actually pretty bad. The acting is not great. The best part of it is the mad scientist and the weird things that he does to these patients and people. But it's it can be super boring, super slow. And it's not even that long of a movie, only running about over 50 minutes long. But this movie does deserve credit for having the pre-code, bad taste, almost grindhouse kind of a horror film before the MPAA went into effect. There's even some overlays in this film that was stolen from the great classic horror film, Haxon, which I highly recommend that movie. Go check that out instead of watching Maniac. 